Well, hello, Shoreland. It's Wednesday, April 1st, and I want to read to you from just a a great, beautiful, comforting psalm, Psalm 40. And here's the words we read. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. I love this this declaration of David in this psalm where he says, I waited. I waited on the Lord. I waited patiently. Some of you feel like you're waiting right now. Lord, when are things going to turn the right direction? When are things going to stabilize? But he says, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he turned to me and he heard my cry. God hears your prayers. He hears your cry. He's listening to you right now. Talk to him often and share your heart with him. And then this encouraging declaration. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire. God is a God who wants to lift us up. And and, and we may linger there for a season, but there's going to come a time where where you feel God lifting you. You're going to feel that season ending. Hang in there. Wait patiently on the Lord till that day comes. And then I love these words. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Well, long before David wrote this, uh, there, there was prophecies of the coming Messiah. And Jesus Christ is the rock. When you think about God putting your feet on a solid rock, you just think about Jesus Christ. Think about the great hymn, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Build your life on Jesus. He is a solid foundation. Whatever we go through, economically, medically, nationally, politically, personally, relationally, emotionally, we go through a lot in this life. Build your life on the rock of Jesus Christ and stand solid on the rock of our Savior, of our Lord, of Jesus Christ. Well, this time, Pastor Sean is going to come and share some things with you just to keep you up to date on what's happening in the life of Shoreline Church. We've promised to keep you aware of what's happening for two weeks ahead. So he'll give you a, a sense of where we're going as best we know. And if anything changes, we'll let you know right away. And then also tonight is night of worship at 615. I want to invite you to tune in wherever you are. And also, will you be sure to have some juice ready and some bread ready? Because we're going to have communion together. We're going to give you some instructions on how to have communion at home. So you could have a little bit of juice or you could have a big cup of juice. If you want to use a little bit of wine, that's okay. That's the way Jesus did it back in the old days. Uh, But a little bit of juice or wine and some bread or crackers. And be prepared to share communion, to sing songs of praise, and to study God's word together. God bless you. We'll, have, we'll look forward to seeing you tonight at Night of Worship. And now just listen as Sean shares a few words. Hello, Shoreline Church. It's Wednesday, April 1st. And as we say farewell to the month of March and we move into the month of April as a nation, as a, as a state, and really as a city and in a regional area, we continue to find ourselves in a shelter in place as our national and our state and our local leaders have asked us each to do our part to slow the spread of the coronavirus. And so as a church, we're going to continue to affirm and to honor our leaders. And so we're going to do our part. What that means is that we will not gather for worship services physically at Shoreline Church, but we instead will continue to gather for worship services online. So that means from now until the end of April, we're going to continue to offer our worship services as experiences for you to gather online. That means for Good Friday service and for Easter services, we're going to gather online. Stay tuned for more information on our Easter services in the next couple of days. Also, this means today is the first Wednesday, and for us, that means it's night of worship at Shoreline Church. So this month, for the first time ever, we're not going to gather at Shoreline Church, but we're going to gather online, and we're going to make that a wonderful family experience where you can gather as a family in your own homes and you can worship together as one body. Night of worship begins tonight at 615. I want to give you a special invitation to join us tonight for night of worship. And as I wrap up this week's update, I also want to invite you to continue to take the the prayer direction that we're providing for you each week on the Wednesday email. And in that prayer direction, we want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to lift up prayers for our world, for our nation, for our community, for Shoreline Church, for our families, and for ourselves. And so if you've not yet taken the opportunity to incorporate that prayer direction in your your daily prayer life, I want to invite you to join us in that. 
And I've, one thing that I've done over the last couple of weeks is, as I've received that email on Wednesday, I've actually taken the email and I've copied those prayer directions into a calendar item then on, on my cell phone. And then I'm able to put that in as a reminder. So each day the reminder comes up and I've already copied and pasted the prayer direction in. So each day when that reminder comes up, there I have it. I can look there at my phone and I've got the prayer direction for the week. And so I can spend time in prayer. So whether that's from the comfort of my favorite easy chair in my home or whether it's out in the yard or in my garden in the morning, the quiet hours of the mornings, I can lift those prayers up and I can be part of a concert of prayer of Shoreline Church. So thank you again, Shoreline. Stay home, stay healthy, and stay connected to Shoreline Church. God bless and have a great week.